Hey, good everybody. Welcome to episode, episode of the Sean Green Show. My name is Sean Green. How are y'all doing? Basically, on this, on this dreary, undreary Sunday morning, when uh, hey, it's raining all day. It's supposed to rain all day for real. Perfect day, when not for Netflix, Hulu, stuff like that. Hey, hey, nothing about that. Nothing about that. Basically, I'm gonna get into it. You all know when not false coming, base false coming with um football right around the corner. Hell yes. And well, you got baseball playoffs coming up. You also got some new TV shows, some TV shows, basically, whatnot, and some movies that's just starting to get filming, basically, coming up. Basically, one of those movies, whatnot, it would start filming, it would start filming this this year, but again, this actor is apparently is busy. They are going to do a new Top Gun three, basically. That that is that is going to get done. That that is basic movie that is that apparently. And Paramount's gonna come out where everybody know uh, Paramount has been bought out basically, and uh, I'm gonna get to that later. But um, Top Gun Three is is gonna come out basically. We all know they're gonna do. We all know they're gonna do Top Gun Three because Top Gun Two, um, damn near made what a billion dollars. Yes, a billion dollars. So we know. So we know. So we know that's coming. So, so, so I'm actually know that was kind of for real. But the thing is, Tom Cruise is busy. That's one actor is busy for real. That's the only reason why this movie is being delayed is basically because Tom Cruise is busy. He's busy doing other projects. Basically, hopefully when he's not busy, basically they'll um they'll um do they'll they'll start filming basically a Top Gun a Top Gun Three. But Tom Cruise did say you only do it is if is if the script is the script got to be right. And I'll be honest with you, they got hopefully that script is right or not because they got to find some way to top. Top Gun 2. And Top Gun 2, Top Gun 2, let's be real here, was the sh- It was. That movie was the sh- I mean, that movie, that movie came out, people lost faith in movies, it brought people back into movies. It really did. It really, really did. That was that movie brought everybody back into movie theaters. I mean, and plus that movie showed you, basically, people will go to theaters, but it has to be something like that. Something that was something that's that's good. Actually, the way I, I, I mind paying all the money, the shit that I watch for, for real. Hopefully, what? Hey, hopefully, hopefully he ain't he ain't as much busy anymore, and 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 we it, it will get this project for real. It it, it it will get it for real, honestly, man, for real, honestly, for real. Also, excuse me, excuse me. Also, basically, what the um also. This show basically this is a good show. Stars cut it basically whatnot, but but it's coming to Netflix. Netflix said we'll do it season three. Depends upon the popularity. Depends upon the popularity. Heels, yes, remember that TV show Heels, which is which is kind of like wrestling based basically. We show these two. We show these two brothers. They got their own small little wrestling wrestling organization basically in the backwoods, see Alabama somewhere basically whatnot, and show the drama and stuff like that. Also shows you basically how wrestlers elevate. Basically, basically start out at those places like that before they go to like the WWE or AEW. Basically, it's a damn good show. Basically, and starring one of the guys who was one of the guys who played um, Green Arrow. The guy who shot Green Arrow, he's in it basically. And I'm happy Netflix picked it up. And I'm happy. I'm happy they did for real. Now, it depends upon the show getting new episodes. It depends upon how they do. They're gonna. The first two seasons is going to be on Netflix. The first two seasons to be Netflix, basically, and hopefully, oh my God, hopefully, basically, this show basically gets like gets popular, and Netflix would do a third season, for real, honestly, because this is really is a good show. The the it's a good show, the drama, the drama, and everything also shows you basically how 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 it shows you how what is go through basically before matches. The script, the whole nine yards, the practice. All this shows you how, how basically, if you're a wrestler, you you're trusting that next wrestler basically where they don't mess up because because when you throw your body onto them and they mess up that mess up that move or them or they hit that move correctly, basically when that you could get seriously injured, for real. That that's basically what it shows you basically. And I'll be honest, it's a good show. It really is. It really is. And then season two ended in a huge cliffhanger. A huge cliffhanger. For real, for real. But I'm hoping basically when not um the show hopeful hopeful Netflix does a third season. I will definitely 
Definitely keep you posted for real. Hopefully this they do do third season. This show was hot. Here's the show. I'll be honest with you. They say they may start doing new episodes on Disney Plus, which I hope that does not happen. But if it does, it's signifying the end of a show. And that show I'm talking about is The Simpsons. Yes, I understand why Disney is doing this because you're trying to ramp up popularity for Disney Plus, which nobody watches. Nobody watches Disney Plus, period. Nobody watches it. Nobody. I see that's why that's why they're doing it basically. I mean, I love the Simpsons. I've loved the Simpsons since day since day one. I mean, all of us have since since the yeah, 80s, baby. We all have. Basically, but they say they may single shift and may move some new episodes from Fox over to Disney Plus. Basically. I hope they don't do it. I hope that I'll be a bad move. My thing is this. If it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Simpsons has been popular on, on, on Sundays at 8 o'clock on Fox. Everybody watching, even during the football season. People will still people will still watch new episodes of The Simpsons before they watch Sunday Night Football. And that's the truth. This show has been, this is why the show has lasted all these years. It's still considered the longest running show in history. It is. This show this show goes head to head with with Sunday night football and wins every single time. And you want to take it off of Sundays. Sunday and put it on uh, put it on Disney Plus, which no one has. Which no one has. You're sabotaging your own show. For real. Leave it on Sundays on Fox at 8 o'clock in the morning and call it a day. Leave it. Don't even mess with it. Don't. But you putting it on Disney Plus, Disney Plus, thinking people, people, thinking people, people are, are, are gonna purchase the high price Disney Plus, Disney Plus crap just for one show. You, you're taking your own show. Leave it on Fox. Leave it on Fox, basically what you've been have. If you want to play a service, leave it on Fox. Every once in a while, put some episodes on Hulu because people do watch Hulu. That I would say, yeah. But don't move it to Disney Plus, man. For real. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. For real. I say leave it on Fox. Simpsons is, yo, Simpsons is a crown jewel. You already you already took off um on on, on, on Sundays when that Family Guy. Oh, Family Guy's not another channel, but now for real. I, I, I'll bring that in a few minutes. But hey, don't mess with the Simpsons, man. Don't mess with the Simpsons. Don't, for real. Honestly, man, don't. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Disney. I really don't know. Something's going on up there. I mean, I don't know what the hell they're doing up here. I don't know what's going on up here in the mind, for real. Hey, 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 I'm old school. Old school saying is this. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Leave it there on Sunday nights at 8 o'clock. Leave it. I say leave it and don't make, don't bring new episodes, don't bring new episodes of Disney Plus. Because hardly anybody got Disney Plus, for real. Don't do it for real. I say, I say, don't do it for real. Also, speaking basically of, um, speaking basically of Family Guy. <laughs> Family Guy. I mean, one, I mean, this has been, this has been a problem. I got to say what now with, with this, with Disney basically, which owns Fox. When they took when it when, when they took Family Guy basically, when they took Family Guy basically off of um Sundays at nine o'clock, I was like, why'd you do that? That was stupid. Everybody else thought it was stupid. And they thought they both thought it was stupid. And you moved it basically. Cool. For instance, Family Guy is joining Comedy Central's animated comedy block starting September the second. Yes, Family Guy is going to Comedy Central. Cool. Yes, the show continues. The show is going to be strong with its 23rd season featuring voice actors and new and new license deal with Comedy Central. Yeah, they got a new license deal with Comedy Central. So bye bye, so bye bye Disney. So basically bye bye Disney. Family guys, family guys moving, moving over, moving over to Comedy Central. To me, I, me, I think it's better. I think it's a whole lot better. You're over there, you're over there basically with um, you're over there with, with them other um good shows basically. 
other good shows basically when uh, I was South Park and all them. I think it's a good move. Because Disney was not, because cause Seth MacFarlane and Disney was beefing. Let's be real. Seth MacFarlane and Disney was beefing, basically. And and he won his family guy. He won his show Family Guy out of there. He finally got it out of there, for real. When I got it, we finally got it out of there for real, and I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. I really don't blame him. The Fox, ever since Disney took over Fox, Fox ain't what it used to be anymore, and that's gone. Other shows that have left Fox and prospered, other shows that have prospered, for instance, look at American Dad. It's on TBS, owned by um, Warner Brothers. That's done good. That's done good. The dad's done good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. Hey, oh, oh, look at um, Futurama. They keep doing new episodes of Futurama, and that's coming to Hulu. The kids on Hulu. That's the only, only, only thing, basically, that um that um ba that only thing that basically that Disney has done and done right is that right there for real. But I'm um, happy Family Guy is leaving Fox, so at September second, it's gonna go over basically whatnot to uh, Comedy Central, and it's gonna continue new episodes basically, starting um September the second basically. I right, hey, I'm happy. I'm happy for real. It's going over the comments. It's going over there, man, for real. Disney, man, is just Disney falling apart, man. Disney is just plain and simple, just falling apart. It really is, man. They can't. I mean, I mean, you once dominated Sundays from eight o'clock, eight eight o'clock p.m. to ten o'clock p.m. You once dominated that block. You once dominated that whole block. Now you ruined it, whatnot, because of, now you ruined it, basically, whatnot, because of your stupidity. I'm gonna be honest with you, because of your stupidity. Now, you did it to yourselves. You did it to yourself for real. I mean, I mean, Jesus, man. I mean, you did it to yourself, man, for real. Also, coming next month, and oh my God, I can't wait. This is why I. This, this is why I still got. This is why I still got Max. I, I still got that um, deal where I get math for free. Thanks to at and <laughs> Coming September 19th at 9 p.m. It's going to have multiple airings throughout the weekend. Basically, The Penguin. Yes, The Penguin. The show The Penguin is coming September the 19th. I can't wait. That's going to be that's the most, gonna be more, the most anticipated. Show basically coming to max, period, yo. I can't wait to see Colin Farrell dress up as a penguin. It's supposed to be kind of like Sopranos, kind of like, but I can't wait. This show is supposed to pick up directly, basically, where, um, where, uh, where, um, the Batman left off, and the Batman left off, everything's all floating, everything's all jacked up. The penguin basically went on trying to fight for power, try for power in Gotham. Oh, this show's going to be hot. September the 19th at 9 p.m., that's when the show's coming. December September 19th at 9 p.m. on Max. I mean, what is it about Max? It does have some good shows, but very few. This one is one of them. This one is exactly, exactly one of them, basically. I can't wait, basically. Oh, this is going to be... This is, oh, this is going to be hot. I can't wait for a for a market calendar, basically. That's when it's, that's when it's, that's when it's coming, basically, for real. And I really... Really, oh my God! I really, really can't wait for real. That one, that one's gonna be off. That was gonna be off the freaking chain. Also, another show basically that to think about rebooting basically, and in I mean, I mean if they do do it, I mean okay. I know first it's, it's Black Lightning. I mean, when it was on the CW, the first two seasons was good. I gotta admit. When Black Lightning was on the CW, the first two seasons was good. Once the, after that, the third season started going this mutant route. They went totally left. It, it let you like, what is you doing? What is you doing? That's basically what that basically that basically what happened. Basically, they were totally left. You don't know what that what the hell they was doing. Period. They were totally left. You know what they was doing, and that's when the show went. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It kind of went down, for real. Black Lightning, you know, it went down. It's like, damn, this one was not a, hey, a hey, this one basically all new redesigned costume and every, redesigned costume and everything basically. And basically, uh, it's 
they want to do like a basic kind of like a mini series basically that's that's what they want to do like a five part mini series basically that's that's what they want to do basically here here's how it looks basically when now here's how it looks basically i'm i'm posting on my tiktok account post it like that basically look like that i mean if you want hey, if you want to do it i say go ahead and do it basically but i'm gonna say this Black Light, the TV show Black Lightning, it wasn't that bad of a TV show. I'll say this, the first two seasons was hot. When you had that mob element going in there, you should have kept it with that. But once you went that um, that mutant route, and you went totally left, people people were like, what the hell are you doing? And that and that, and that that came out of nowhere. That's why the show, long, the show went downhill and it lost a lot of our fan base. It, it, really, it really, really did, for real. It honestly, it really did, which which I believe they should have never, should have never, ever, ever, ever did that. But hey, but hey, but hey, who am I to say anything? Hey, who am I to say anything for real? Who am I to say anything for real? Also, basically, when uh, um, as y'all know, just coming up here, a lot of our streaming service prices, streaming services have went up in price. For instance, the new base pay for instance, Amazon went up. I believe the new base pay for Amazon Prime, $14.99. Netflix, $15.49. Peacock, $7.99. That's, that's what I have. That, that's what adds. ESPN Plus, $10.99. I don't have that. I don't pay one out because I'm grandfathered in from the last from, from, from the last plane I had. I'm still paying. I, I still get I, 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 I still get Hulu in this basically combined price, only $7.99. Because I'm grandfathered in. Somehow, way I'm not complaining. And also, NFL study ticket went up since they won a lawsuit. NFL don't care; they went up. It went up. So basically, if you have basically if you have YouTube TV and you want NFL study ticket, it's going to cost you three hundred seventy nine dollars. Yes, and me personally, I think that's not fair. That sucks. Only thing is, at least some football games you'd be able to watch basically what not on rugged TV, which is good. But when it comes to Thursday night football. You're gonna need Amazon Prime. When it comes to when it when it comes to Christmas, you're gonna need Netflix. And when it comes basically when some playoff games coming to come up to, to come to see the football football, you're gonna need basically um Netflix again. Which sucks, man. I mean that sucks, man, but hey, it it is what it is. And especially with Netflix basically when I'm since um especially with Netflix basically since starting January first. Monday Night Raw is going to Netflix. Yes. Starting January 1st, Monday Night Raw will be on Netflix. Yes, which means those of you who don't have Netflix now, if you want to continue to see Monday Night Raw, if I was you, I will get Netflix. I know this sucks. It really does. It really does basically button up, but that's the way it is, man. Sports is starting. Sports is starting to transfer over the streaming services, basically. Now it's gonna to point to where you're gonna need a streaming service to watch the sports, no matter what sport it is. So far, you're gonna you're gonna need a streaming service to watch. I know that sucks. I know it does because more money you gotta pay out. But hey, that's why it is one of a lot of these a lot of these um hey NFL NBA is thinking about this. It's thinking about this money. It's thinking about money basically. I actually wasn't thinking about. And I know it's not fair, fair to us, us basically, the regular consumer, basically, but that's the way it is. For real, and it's like, and it's not, and it's like, like, not, not fair. Yeah, I, trust me, I do, I do really, really, really do agree with you, for real. I do for real agree with you. All right, um, speaking of the NBA, the New York Knicks signed forward Jacob, Jacob Toppin, Jacob Toppin, Jacob Toppin, basically, won the, um, What's the name? Um, Q Topper's brother, basically. Basically, they signed a. They signed him to a two-way contract. Basically, here's my thing, though. The Knicks went and got. The Knicks went and you, you, you went got another forward, basically. And you still haven't given Julius Randle a contract extension. You still haven't, basically. Here's my. Here's my thing, though. Here's my thing, though. It's my thing, though. I think basically what not. Um. They're waiting to see basically how Julius Randle does during the regular season. That's what I'm thinking. You're waiting to see how he does during the regular season, basically. See how he performs and see how he does. And he performed well during the regular season, basically. He performs well during the regular season, basically, whatnot. Cool. You sign him. Cool. Cool. You give him an extension. If he's not, if he, if he's not, 
And he's not basically, I think they're, I think they're trading basically by trade deadline, basically, because the past two seasons, Jewish Randall has been has been doing good the regular season. Playoffs, he's he's playoffs, he's been hurt. Yes, he plays because he's hurt and the and the number just dipped. In a way, I don't. In a way, I don't blame one. Not, um, the New York Knicks. I don't blame them, cause I don't blame them for real. I really don't. I would hate to lose. I would hate for them to trade Julius Randle. If you do trade Julius Randle, I'm gonna say this: trade him. Trade for somebody good. Trade him for somebody damn good for real. If you're gonna trade Julius Randle, that's what I said. That's what I said. That's my personal opinion. Trade him for somebody that's good, basically for real. For real. I mean, come on now. He's been he's he's been a worker for us the regular season. He really has. He really has. It is that when it comes to sometimes that happens. When it comes to regular season, man. It just it happens, man. For real. That that really does. That really that really 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 does. That really does happen. Sometimes, hey, you're going to get hurt, man. You're going to get hurt for real. Also, uh, so you get here to baseball, right? Uh, baseball is considering considering to do considering a new rule. I mean, I'm tired of all these rules coming with baseball. You come up with all these rules, basically trying to make the game better. Basically, this rule I disagree with. I disagree with. Hopefully, they don't do this. They're coming up with a rule, making it making it right. Considering a six inning minimum rule for starters. Basically, if you're starting pitcher, you must pitch at least six innings. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. With all the injuries that have come to major league pitchers nowadays, all the injuries, elbow injuries, Tommy, all these pitchers get, all these pitchers getting Tommy John surgery. I disagree with this rule. Hell no, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, no. I say leave it the way it is. It's bad enough. It's bad enough. You got pitch clock. Could leave that low. It's bad enough. You're thinking about adding robo umps, which I that also I disagree, for real. We don't need a robot umpires. Hell no. Uh, hell no by the play. Hell no. Leave it. Have 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 an actual human being behind buying the play for real. But 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 a six inning six inning rule for pitchers. Hell no. Leave it the way it is. That's my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. Leave it the way it is. We don't need uh uh-uh, leave it, man. For real, honestly, man. I say leave it. For I this one rule. I say no. Hell no. I don't know, I don't know, for real. Just leave it, for real. No, no, six innings, six innings, six innings for pitches, man. Hell no. For real, hell to the no. I say leave it the way it is, for real. Honestly, leave it the way it is, for real. Also, our free agent forward, JT Thor, has agreed to a two way NBA contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers. That smart move, they need day eight. Cleveland can use, can use a, 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 um, a um, power forward, for real. They can use it for real. Hopefully, he goes to G League, come out, does right, and then comes up and be and come up and I'll come off the bench for him for real. Los Angeles Lakers signed signed former former B former Beaver Kyler Kelly will not Kyler uh, Kyler Kelly. Um, that's good. That's decent. That's decent, right? That's yo. He a decent. He a decent forward. He, he didn't score that much, but he was he was a he was a defensive he was a defensive threat down there for him. Then. Down there, down there, basically went out for down there, basically he gives a threat, good rebounder, good defender, scoring, ugh, but damn good defender. I say smart move, smart move for real, smart smart move, for real, smart move. But still, I'm gonna say this though, but say this though, you, sh- I don't think it's good enough. Smart move though, but hey, g- hey, a hey, 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 good move, ain't nothing wrong with, ain't nothing wrong with defensive forward, ain't nothing wrong with defensive forward for real. And there's wrong with that for real, but um, but uh, come on now, gotta do if Lakers man gotta do better, and for the Lakers, they have to do the Lakers have to do better for real, honestly. The Lakers man, they have to do, they have to do better. Real talk, real talk, real talk. The Lakers basically have to do have to do better. It um, have to do better. In, in my opinion, for real, they have to do better for real. All right, um, a hey, do it, a. Hey. There was a baseball game. Hey, hey, there was a baseball game yesterday. You had the Braves beat the Angels eleven to three. That's what's up. Yeah, my Red. Yeah, the Red Sox beat the Orioles five to one. Yes, thank you, Red Sox. Come on, let's go, Red Sox. Yeah, the Padres beat the Rockies eight to three. The Brewers beat Cleveland two to one. Ooh, come on, Cleveland. Cardinals beat Dodgers five to two. 
I was watching that game. I mean, the pitching, the pitching was just not there. Pitching was just not there for the Dodgers, man. It really was. I was watching that game. It put the pitching. It just, it just wasn't really that. It was, it just wasn't, it just wasn't there. It, it just wasn't there for. Real. Hopefully, when the, um, that pitching, that pitching gets better when uh, as we get towards the playoffs, Dodgers need their pitching to get better. Cause last night, man, that pitching just, that pitching just wasn't there. It really wasn't for real. You had the White Sox get, get the Astros beat the White Sox six to one. You had the um. A's beat the Giants um two nothing. A hey, Giants stink. Yeah, the Twins beat the Rangers five to two. The Royals beat the Reds thirteen to one. Damn. Mm-hmm. 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 You had Phillies beat the Nationals five to one. The Mets beat the Marlins four nothing. Way to go, Mets! You need to continue winning games like this. Beat the team you're supposed to beat. For real. Yeah, the Rays beat the Diamondbacks 6-1. Cubs beat the Blue Jays 3-2. Uh, the Tigers shut up the Yankees 4-0. Ooh, come on, Yankees, man. Yankees. Ooh. And you had the Pirates beat the Mariners 7-2. 7-2 to for real. Hey, today's Sunday. Hey, Sunday, there is some baseball games today. The Mets Marlin game may get rained out, may not get rained out. That's up in the air because it's supposed to stop raining soon. There's a period, there's a period between, let's say about noon and about four thirty, five o'clock, which supposed to start back raining. So they may be able to get that Met game in. They may not be able to get that Met game in. So those of you basically wanting the Met game, it's like a toss up. It's like a toss up basically. They may get be able to get it in. They may not be able to get it in. For real, uh, for real, honestly. If I was you, I'll call Chicka Booth whatnot before you head down to the game. When I first, because again, it's supposed to rain all day, but it's a period of time where for a good four hours it's gonna stop. And then pick and then pick right back up again, for real. So again, depend again again. They may be able to, they may not be able to. They may not be able to, for real. And 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 that Mets Martin game is at twelve oh five, for real. Is at twelve oh five. Try to get this. Try to get rid of this freaking ad. Uh, get also also on sun also tonight on Sunday night baseball. You got Yankees Yankees Tigers. That's at seven ten. Makes you one of a Sunday night, a Sunday night baseball. That that's been played in definitely played paid um not in Detroit. But but at the home state and whatnot for the Little League World Series basically that's gonna be playing that's gonna be it's 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 gonna be played over there for real, it's it's gonna be played over there for real, all right. All right. Also, oh, hey, right, also switch the gears here. Also, also switch the gears here. Basically, um, don't hey, don't forget, hey, don't forget to check out basically whatnot August twentieth, Gamescom basically whatnot with the latest video games stuff like that being being talked about. Basically, Gamescom. It's from August. It, it's it's from August twentieth to August twenty third, basically. Off off August twenty third. Xbox Xbox we also Xbox also have a booth there. Xbox is also gonna be showcasing the latest games, latest games that's um coming out and everything. Basically, don't forget to check that out for real. All the game I'm looking forward to the Xbox is supposed to be showing basically with that is the Indiana Jones game. Basically, I'm looking forward to that game. That game looks real hot. Looks good. Other game I can't wait to see. That that uh, that um Xbox also gonna be showing one up is Gears of War Day One. There's also rumors going around that that get that um the Xbox may that they may remaster basically what not um Gears of War Judgment Day Judgment Day basically. Remember that game Judgment Day, which was kind of like a prequel basically what the Gears of War One. That game Judgment Day is supposed, supposed to take place after Day One, which they're getting doing right now. There's rumors that there's rumors that they may um remaster that game basically. Hey, if they do, hey, that's good. Hey, that's good. Hey, hey that's good, man, for real. I would, I, hey, I, hey, I wouldn't mind. I would, hey, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind for real. I, I really, 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 really wouldn't mind for real. I really wouldn't mind for real. Honestly, man, for real, I really would not even mind. I really wouldn't mind at all for real. Honestly, for real, um. 
every week with my fruit. Also, also make sure when the, um, those of you think about buying uh, White Sox tickets, buy them now. Buy them now. The Chicago White Sox basically have put in place for the for 2020 for 2020 for the 2025 season tickets, basically 10 percent discount on 2020 uh, 20, uh, next year's tickets. A 10 percent discount. Why are buyers raising their prices? They're lowering they're lowering the season tickets by 10 percent. So if I'm in, if I you in Chicago, you want to go to the White Sox game? Say, yes, I know they stink, but hey, it's cheap. Hey, 10 percent, I'll do it. Hey, 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 if I was in Chicago, hey, I'm, hey, hey, I'll buy tickets for next year, for real. Go ahead and do it, for real. Don't you think, oh, I'm, oh, I'm lying, for real? Look, I will be posting, I will be posting this basically what up on my um TikTok account, Sean Green 80, Sean Green 80, all right? Hey, that's cheap, because you got other places that are all raising their tickets, and people are complaining. I keep telling y'all, man, for real, reason why they're raising these, these ticket prices, wonder why? Well, why? Whoa! That play you, that, that play they, that play they sign the five hundred, eight hundred million dollar deal. Somebody got pay for the. Somebody got pay for that. Somebody got pay for that, and that, and that's going to be you. Real talk. Somebody got to pay for all that, that and, and in return, that's for you. They can pass it right. They can pass it right on to you, basically, right on to you. Raise your, raise your ticket prices. Raise your food and everything else for real. Honestly, man, for real, thanks. That's who Zach. That's who Zach is going to be paying for it. I know. I know some of y'all don't want to hear that. We do here for real. That sucks. But here's it's one thing I'm gonna say. This just sucks. Um, he's a good analyst, good NBA analyst. It sucks. We sucks. We're not gonna see him this year. Um, on the sidelines, basically, is um, Robert Griffin the third. Basically, yo, he's a good broadcast. He's broadcaster. Other reason why I was cut is because ESPN and whatnot. Um, they're trying to save money. In return, basically, one that is Disney trying to save money. So Disney bought ESPN, basically. So Disney, 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 which made a couple of bad investments, basically, bad investments, basically, when it's trying to come cost across the board, trying to come with court, even though ESPN is not is 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 not effing up, but but they are, and that sucks, man. That and that sucks, and and Disney and it's going and this is why I got to say what not um why nobody why no um. Right minded person wants to work for Disney right now, whatnot, because you're working with Disney, you're, you, the possibility you can get fired. And you can be doing your job perfectly, but you, uh, but they got a call basically whatnot because because um they're not because they're not doing their job basically whatnot when it comes to movies. A lot of movies are coming out, it's it's not selling, and that sucks, man, for real. And, and that just hey hey hey, hopefully hey hey. Hopefully he lands somewhere else, man. For hope he gets a job somewhere else. Honestly, hope, hopefully he gets a job. Basically, basically, um, basically, basically somewhere else, man. For real. Hopefully, hopefully he does, man. For real. Hopefully he does, man. For real, man. All right, all right. Hey, thank you for my podcast. My podcast is available where you your podcast on Podbean, Spotify, most of Apple Podcasts, most of iHeartRadio. I'm live. I'm on, I'm live on my Twitch account, Sean Green. Sean Green eight on one word. I'm live on my YouTube channel. The Sean Green Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe for my videos. Most live on my um Instagram account, Sean4476. Alright. Y'all have a blessed, blessed day for real. Again, those of you going to that Met game, basically, whatnot. I'll call I'll call to see I'll call to see basically the game is gonna soon be on. Cause even though there is a, again, the rain's supposed to stop. There's a time where there's a good like four to three to four hours where there it's not gonna be raining, basically. So they might be able to get it in, might not be able to get it in. It's a, it's a toss up. All right, for real. All right, y'all have a blessed, blessed day for real. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I, I, I really do appreciate it. Ah. Stop. Stop. Yes.